Time for your game recap of the weekend series finale between Cleveland State and IUPUI. The Vikings make it six in a row to start off their Horizon League slate for the first time in 13 years as they hand IUPUI a 59-49 loss. Alongside Marcellus Barksdale, Greg Rakestraw with you. IUPUI clearly with 49 points could never get into an offensive flow today. That was not the case, though, for Azariah Say in the opening half. The junior from Alabama had 14 first-half points. And we saw coming off the bench with an instant spark to start this game. Half of the IEPY points in the first half belonged to Say with 14. We saw him knocking down some shots, showing his athleticism, finishing at the rim. And really the only bright spot offensively for IEPY in that first half. Marcus Burke did finish as the leading scorer with 15. The funny story for IEPY is that Say did not score after halftime. In the second half, Cleveland State started to pull away. It was a 28-28 game. Patton with the bucket here. You get another one coming up on the up and under move. But down the stretch, it was Trey Gomillion that got the job done for Cleveland State. He finished with a game high 18. And Gomillion showed what he does, scoring around the rim, also showing the range of that three-point shot right there. Getting to the middle of the lane every time. Fadeaways, finishing through contact, scoring on underneath out of bounds plays, and that seems to be the difference in this ballgame. Once you start winning close games, you simply find a way to keep getting that done. That's the story for Cleveland State. Again, field goal shooting wasn't great for either side. Uh, points off turnovers yesterday was in favor of IUPUI. Today it was a big difference in favor of the Vikings. And we saw that right there again, you know, Ugly game, not the best, but down the stretch, Cleveland State found a way to win. Again, going possession after possession, taking their time, scoring, but also, too, tightening up on the defensive end and really making it hard for the IEPY guards to get going offensively. Cleveland State will maintain top spot in the Horizon League heading to next weekend. The Jaguars hoping to play host to Robert Morris next Friday and Saturday at the Indiana Farmers Coliseum.